Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 22 of Let's Play the Old Gods. No, wrong. I keep doing that. This is actually Game of Thrones. We're at war. The Iron Throne is currently fighting, or actually rather attacking, Lord Urus of Saltcliffe in the Iron Thrones du jour war over Saltcliffe. So the contested title is what? That title there. Wow. The entire realm is at war over that county. Sweet. That's pretty cool. Uh, we are hostile to that guy. He's really far away. I'm not even going to raise my levy. But more importantly, we've just pissed off the entire realm by raising crown law. They're upset because I've changed succession law, I've increased crown authority, blah de blah But who cares, because we have limited crown authority, which allows for title revocation. And we have claims on Lemonwood, Plankywood, and Spotswood. So, please, sir, I would like your title now. What? Where's my title? Do I not have a claim on Spotswood? Oh, I don't actually have a claim on that one. Well, we must begin fabricating claims immediately. Planky Town, on the other hand, my incapable Obara, my aunt. I sure hope she doesn't take all that money with her, but I guess I don't really care. I have a claim. Uh, she's rebellious. We will revoke that title. I'm going to pre-raise my levy and uh, let it get a little bit more morale. Call our vassals levies as well. And we'll just do it patiently. I am so fertile that I can almost offset the in-command penalty. I can still make babies even while we're at war. Alright, well that's unfortunate. I'm losing some troops there. But yeah, she doesn't have much. Doing their best. Come on, where's the rest of the men? Let's go. And we'll just have to slow siege this one because that is far too many troops to assault. She barely raised any of her levy. And actually, since this is an offensive war, we're already getting vassal... Okay, I'm gonna disband, uh... Just dismiss the realm levies and use my own personal levy. I don't want to piss anyone off. It's very important. I mean, I just raised crown law. Which is kind of weird, considering that, um... You know... I was only really able to start the vote since the war was at... Uh, the realm is at war, and we're not actually beneath the, uh, the Emperor for the moment. If I revoked your title, would you just give it to me? Maybe. Probably best to do it one at a time. But I don't expect this... this Salt Cliff Iron Throne War to actually last very long. It should be over very quickly. There's 10,000 men sitting on that single county. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be over in seconds. Which is curious, because what should happen, if I understand correctly, is that, um... Like, my, my kingdom... I don't know, I don't know what to expect. My kingdom will actually, like, disappear, kind of? Once I'm back beneath the Emperor? It's like the, the titles come and go, depending on whether you're at war. Our wars, our own wars, continue. Interesting. I thought that was the event that kind of forces me to be underneath Iron Throne again. And yet I'm still independent. Hmm. Maybe that was the easiest independence war ever. Could be. Kind of silly. Tick tock. Okay, we're going to play it a little bit quicker. Speed 4. Do do do. Tick tick tick. I want to claim on Spotswood. Wow, even the city takes a while. My liege, I am pleased to report that your errant subject, Lord Lewin of Gaston Grey. Lord Lewin. Why isn't there a little icon letting me know who you converted? Lord Lewin. Must be this guy. He was Rador, now he's Faith of the Seven. Well, that's good. This guy controls these two titles. So hopefully he'll try to convert those back. But what we really need to convert is, uh... Oh, apparently that woman died. 
There was a woman in control who believed in the wrong faith. Have we abolished the royal lore faith already? Hmm. Can we use this interface to find search vassals for people who are not my religion? Willa seeks to kill Prince Peter. My courtier wants to kill me. You bitch. I will not sleep with you anymore if you keep trying to kill me. Obviously it was misdirected. Of course it was. Silly woman. Okay, so search vassal. Okay, come on. Let me look at this for a second. Wow, she's a... She looks like somebody I would get along famously with. Dishonorable Kinslayer. Alright, so we got some Ralorian people that uh, live within our realm. Like, this guy is... There must be a number... There's probably quite a few people who believe in Ralor. So I'll just leave my court chapel in there to convert people. Okay, so Nemiria, my bastard, is often involved with fights with other toddlers. We could try to steer her energy el elsewhere, making her most likely cynical. I'm tired of having bad piety. Pride. Pride or diligence is fine. Let's try that. And instead she became wroth. Sweet. That's cool. About to win this war, and then we can declare the next one. Or rather, not the next war, but the next revocation. I could siege through that other castle, but I think that's a waste of time. So we'll press the victory. This dude is now in prison. And I could just revoke his title, no one will object. He'll leave with his 220 gold. On the other hand, if I execute him, it's tyrannical. If I exile him, it's also tyrannical. But we'd get 220 gold. No, we'll just revoke the title. 220 gold's not worth it. So we've taken the title. And now we'll move these men there. We'll raise these troops as well. And we will revoke Castle Lemonwood. See what she has to say about that. She'll probably... Uh, our conflicts have ended. We can be of service to the king again. Okay, so it did force me back underneath him. Let's see what happens to our laws. Okay, of course she rejects me. So Dorne no longer is allowed to have crown laws, which means that now we have autonomous vassals as the applicable crown law in our realm. Which is interesting, because... Oh, wow, she has a lot of men. How do you have so many troops? Is this like a really big castle? It's only level 3. That one's level 2. This one's level 3 and level 2. How come this... Huh. Okay, well, I guess we're going to need to call in some allies troops for this. Jeez. Didn't expect her to fight back. She's just going to take it. This castle is terrible, and I'm not going to let go of this one. This one is part of my realm, dang it. So, we're going to upgrade this to a castle town. And I need a new master of coin. This guy doesn't like me very much, but he's pretty good at what he does. Princess Jane, my wife. Mm, I think I'll go with that guy. And he wants to get married, so let's find him a wife. You can marry... Willa? Should I get rid of Willa? No, she'll keep trying to kill me. I don't have any women for you. Sorry, man. Request liege intervention. Neat. So, ask your liege for protection in a defensive war. Okay. I don't need his help, of course, but I'm just... It's kind of interesting. Now that we're back in here, back in the realm, we can actually... So my, my, my thought, though, is like, let's say I did try to revoke this. Am I underneath that other crown law? No. See, I can only do that when I'm actually independent. And my crown law applies. It's really messy. Kind of silly. And yet, I'm probably still suffering from raised... Recent... Did I... Who's my direct vassal? You. Do I still suffer from the... Uh... I don't. I don't have the recently raised crown laws penalty anymore. 
No, I do. Right there. Increase crown authority. Okay. So I still have that penalty even though we're not actually doing it. Sweet. That's kind of silly. Anyone want to kill Princess Jane? Of course you don't. Anyone want to kill my sister? Apparently not. Fabricate a claim. Uh, see the High Lordship from Maynard granted to a new... That's what I was doing before that other war. No one wants to support me, probably because my feast bonuses have worn off. But uh, I'll leave that active, and we'll do that again soon. After this war, we'll do a feast. What? Uh, you want me to investigate Princess Lara of the Iron Throne's legitimacy? Please tell... Who is this? Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. There should be, like, this is who we're talking about. I don't know who you're talking about. Ten gold? Sure, we'll take it. I'm not going to accept. I don't know who you're talking about. I just, I, I hate that. It's really disappointing. I am a knight. Uh-oh. There's a river that flows between here, but not between here and Lemonwood. Can we escape? No. We're going to have a battle here. And the other troops are very far away. These will be here on the 21st. Yikes. Let's make sure. Let's make absolute sure we've got a good, good advisor. Good ruler. This guy's brave. Good morale defense. What about... Um, maybe this guy would be better. Experimentality. Oh, I love that one. But he's got moral defense and defense. Morale defense and regular defense. Pretty high. Let's... We'll chance it. Oh, slow the game down. I want to watch this battle. So he's here. He's doing an impressive shield wall and his experimentality combat modifier is actually positive. He's now doing an impressive harassment. And experimentality combat modifiers at 4%. We have a numeric disadvantage. Some reinforcements are coming. He is actually killing... Ooh, look at that. Perfect. So those 600 men came in. And there's no troop commanders, which is a mistake on my part. But they've drawn the attention of the center flank, which allows this side to get a flanking bonus of 30%, causing... No losses on this while they're beating up on these armies, and huge losses on the center flank for him. Meanwhile, the experimentality combat modifier continues to be a uh, stupid wild card. Somehow, we were attacking the right flank. I don't know how that happened. He's broken one of them, though, so now it's 2200 versus 1300. I think he's going to win. Good job, man. You rock. Did you get him? Did you get him? Yeah, we got him. 70% war score. Wow. Well, let's continue on and chase that army. Going to the Salt Shore. We might not even need this army now. One more big battle like that and the game will... Or the, uh, the victory will be made. And then we'll have three counties. And then we need a claim on Spotswood. We'll have a nice clean duchy over here. And the broken arm. Very pretty. Okay. When did he get in my jail? Okay, we've got a morale advantage, and he's continuing to do pretty good tactics. Ooh, experimentality combat modifier, 44%. He actually did a really good one. Yes, yes, yes. We win. As to be expected. 23% more score. Yeah, I think we're okay. We'll just disband these guys. Get him. Victory is ours. Come on. Route him. 
And 7% please. Thank you. Perfect. You must surrender now, woman. And as penalty for your offenses, we throw you in prison, do terrible, terrible things to you, and then revoke your title. Um, exiling her would be tyrann tyrannical. Random error, so I don't want to do that. Could ransom her. See, the thing is, if I ran- oh, wait, no, I can't- I can't do a revocation again because we don't have that crown law. Actually, I can't even revoke it right now. Damn. Well, I'll just have to ransom her for now, then. And soon we'll do it again. We'll just take the gold and... We'll have to hope that some sort of succession... Another war pops up here. Our lead, that's really unfortunate. I could have kept her in there hoping. You know, kind of preparing in advance, but... Oh well. What's this then? Oh god, look at the timing on that. <laughs> Dang it. Oh jeez. Realm was in a state of war. Alright, well, who are you fighting? Let's go check it out. Defending in against Lord Harwin Ironfist in Pike in the Pike War for Aegon's claim on the Iron Throne. So this is a claim for the Iron Throne. This could could actually be a very serious war. Defending against King Bonifer. No. King Harwin of the Iron Islands. The Iron Islands were there, isn't it? Or is that here? I don't actually know. I get lost. And the Reach. The Reach is actually attacking him. House Tarly. Paxter. Paxter Tarly. 43,000 men. And the throne has... 120... I think we'll defend our leash. And now we have our own crown laws still at low. Perfect. Good, good, good. So now we'll just revoke this again. We have a claim on it. She'll, she'll reject it again. It's rather unfortunate that I have to do this twice. <laughs> Mariah Dalt of Lemonwood has failed to take ins- of course she did. And she's declared war again, yet she has no troops, so it won't really matter. So she just ended up giving us some extra money. Which actually is kind of convenient, but still slow. Would have been better to just have it outright. Currently building a castle town there. Back to speed four. Uh-oh. I name you Pretender. Elise Alrion is the true ruler of Dorne, as recognized by myself and other nobles. When did that faction happen? 80% of my strength. Um... Elise? Who the heck is this? How did you even get a claim? What the hell? I will not be blackmailed, you silly wench. So this is gonna throw the realm and uh, let her take her time. Could give her a stutter. She's already wroth. Make her trusting. I guess we'll go with this one. She's stutter. Sweet. Okay, so awesome. We have to deal with this now. I guess we are gonna need your army. So it's just one person, but, um... A son was born. A second bastard with Willa. Now, granted, Willa's still trying to kill me, of course. Let's name this son, then, Peter! 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 Right? That's how we spell my name, isn't it? Peter. Okay. And, um... Oh yeah, he's legitimate. Since no one wants to kill my wife. Damn it. What's all this about? Princes pass an iron in what? Huh? How can they call them in? What happened to my liege loyalists? Not cool. Not cool at all.
Even Spotswood's fighting against me. W wow, okay, well, I th <laughs> What just happened to that guy? <laughs> we'll let Sunel do it then. Oh my god, what in the hell is happening? Are you got you're not allies. How can you do that? They were supposed to be loyal to me. What the hell? You, sir. If you join, then I'm just going to be like I don't understand it at all. It doesn't make sense. All right, fine. But this isn't cool at all. So I have a few choices here. We can murder the claimant. If we murder the claimant, then there is no more claim to the throne and this whole thing will just go away. She's unlanded. What would it cost to just outright assassinate her? 50 gold. We have three shots. Let's just see if we can fix this problem right now. Princess. Well, Elise Alarion. Ugh. She's up here in Snakewood. Alright, I need a new Master of Whispers right away. Jane, we'll send my wife. Go build a spy network up there. She's not very good at this, but, uh... Let's see if maybe... What do the numbers shape up to? 20% chance. 62% chance of being discovered as dishonorable. Hmm. Although I could just piss my wife off again and actually put Sunel back in charge and send her up here. And now my odds are... 28% with a 50% chance. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Let me know what you think. Should we try to murder her? Or should we try to fight off the rebellion? It's going to be tough either way, I think. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.